What began as an argument between a man and his wife ended with one person dead. Good morning, I'm Christina Well. Thanks for joining us. And I'm Andy Sirota. A father was killed in the shooting on Wild Pine near East Hampton. Investigators have been on that scene all night. Channel 2's Kathy Hernandez joining us now live with reaction from neighbors. Kathy, good morning. Good morning, just in the last 45 minutes, neighbors had said they saw that 15 year old stepson come back here to his house. So then I called Harris County to make sure they knew that he was here. They did tell us they had been looking for him. And just in the last five to 10 minutes, deputies arrived here. Investigators now are talking to the 15 year old stepson in that townhome there. Right now, they're telling us he is not a suspect. Two, three gunshots. Axel Martinez says hearing gunshots last night is nothing out of the ordinary. We're used to like, hearing gunshots around here, and so it was normal, something normal we hear. Investigators say a couple houses down, the victim and his wife got into an argument about income taxes inside the home on Wild Pine last night. The victim lived there on and off. Detectives say it became physical, and the wife's son stepped in while she went upstairs with her one-year-old daughter. A 15-year-old son got involved with it, him and uh, some of his friends that were there got involved in it, and at some point, uh, the victim was shot. But it's not clear who pulled the trigger and where they got the gun. The wife's 15-year-old son and his three friends took off. The victim died at the scene. A woman was visibly shaken. They were trying to control her because she was going crazy. She was, you know, she just lost her dad. Investigators were in the area for hours canvassing the neighborhood, hoping to find the group. Aldine ISD officers showed up to the home later in the morning saying the teens involved could be their students. It's sad. Like, there's been multiple like, shootings, multiple people getting injured in this neighborhood. And to get to this point, it's just you know, sad. And just in the last 15 seconds or so, investigators took that 15-year-old stepson away, possibly going downtown for more questioning. Again, they do say he is not a suspect. They're only getting more information from him about what exactly happened here. Right now, no one is, custody, no one is in custody, and they have not yet released the victim's identity. Reporting live in Northeast Harris County, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.